Hey YouTube, hope everybody's doing well. I'm reposting a video that I did last Easter for dyeing Easter eggs using 100% silk neckties. And the reason I'm posting this video now, we got a couple weeks ahead of us here uh, till you can go to Goodwill and thrift stores and get your 100% silk ties. Uh, really cheap, couple of bucks you can get these ties. And uh, whatever image is on that tie will transfer to the egg using this method. So, great project for the kids. And I hope everybody has a happy Easter. And feel free to share this video on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, I really think it's a great idea, especially for the kids. Thanks. Take your 100% silk tie, go ahead, wrap it up. Wrong side out. What's that? Wrong side out. Wrong side out, yes. So the pattern is on the, no, the pattern has to be on the inside. Right, so the, the bad side faces out. Right, okay. And then you go ahead and line this around the egg and I'm going to come back and show you how much winding needs to be done. This is very time consuming. So keep winding and winding and winding. This is the most important part of this process guys. The egg has to be totally covered because that silk tie, the pattern needs to reach the shell and be flush and against the shell so that when you boil it, it really prints onto the shell. So she's got a long way to go here. So. Okay, so the wife is still winding here, winding and winding, and if you can really see part of the tie, you really probably still need to put more thread on there. And all we're using here, guys, is just regular old sewing thread um, to do this winding. And you have to be kind of careful. You don't want to wind too tight either because you could crack the shell. You'll get used to it after your first or second egg, that's for sure. Have fun with this. Okay, so now winding around the egg all different directions, the top, the sides, this is pretty good. So all you have to do when you get done, bite it and just let the string hang on the end there, no big deal. This is what you should have before you boil it. Okay, now we're in the boiling stage here, and we're going to wait for that to boil. One thing I didn't mention, guys, um, we boiled the egg before we wrapped it in the silk and the uh, thread. So if the shell does crack, then you won't have a mess. So hard boil the egg first, then do this, then boil it again. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so we have two eggs that have been boiled well, we probably left them a little longer than normal, probably about 15, 20 minutes. You probably only need about 10. So go ahead. Next step is to put it in a cup and pull all the string that you worked so hard on that egg to cover. Now you're just going to unravel it. Putting it in a cup is the easiest way to do it. And we'll show you the results after we get all the string off. So by putting it in the cup, this will ensure, or at least help the fact, that you won't crack your egg when you're unraveling it. Because they're very easy to drop when you're unraveling them. Drop it on the counter and before you know it, you have a cracked egg that you work so hard to make look so pretty. Okay, so here it is, all unraveled. Let's open it up. Let's see what we have. And if it was done correctly... See the print went right onto the egg, the paisley print. Very, very pretty. There's the print. There's the egg. Really cool. All right, we got another one to unwind. 
Baby's crying. So you can you can uh, see all the thread that was used here, guys. A lot of lot of thread. All right, this one might be have a crack in it. We're not sure. This is another paisley one. All right, the crack. Yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, we got a small crack in this one, but still a gorgeous, gorgeous dyed egg from a silk tie. So this one has a little crack in it, but just imagine how uh, fun this would be with the kids. Adults have fun. If you have an adult beverage, it helps. Thanks, guys.